Hello guys, Tough HD here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be seeing if this gaming mouse mat by Rewool or whatever you want to call it is worth the £17 it currently goes for on Amazon. And this isn't any mouse mat, it is powered by USB so it is indeed RGB as you can see on that picture. So today we're just going to be seeing if this is worth the low price. So looking at the box we've got the name of it there and it says what it is. It tells us that it does use USB so we know that is how it gets its power. On the back the name again and then some information about it such as the soft microfiber surface, the 14 mode spectrum backlighting, the rubber base, the 800mm by 300mm surface area and USB. It also gives us some more information there and a picture and also it's made in China. Just some logos on the other side and then a big picture of it there. So what we're going to do now is just take it out of the box. No tape on this so we can simply just go ahead and open it. It appears to come inside a plastic bag here and all the contents are in that bag too. So this box is indeed empty, so we can move that off to the side. Okay, so in this bag, we've got the mouse mat. Move that bag off. And inside, we have the USB cable. It is a braided type A to micro USB. So the micro USB plugs into the mouse mat and the type A can go into your computer. We also have some instructions in here. It's in English, but then it's also in some other language. Not sure what that is, but it has English, which is the important thing because we are in England. So just unrolling the mouse mat here, we can see just how big it is, 80 centimeters by 30. And this is larger than the one I already have right now. So this should be a good upgrade. We can see in the top left corner, that is where you plug the USB in, and that's where we can turn on the lighting effects and change the effects. No software on the computer for this match, everything's done just on those buttons. It's worth mentioning as you can see it's not exactly straight yet, that's probably because it's been rolled up for so long. So hopefully this should just straighten itself out by itself, but if it doesn't just put something heavy on it for a while and that should do. There we go, that's becoming flatter already. Okay, I've just plugged the mouse mat into my laptop and initially the lights aren't on as you can see. So we're going to press the power button and there we go, you can see it's starting to light up. It's hard to see with my recording lights on, so I'll just turn those off. Right, that should be a bit easier to see now. So first thing to say is the lights are not very bright really. Just in normal daylight right now, it's quite hard to see, but I guess at night time, it would be quite bright. So, that's how you turn it on and of course, turn it off. So we'll leave it on, then this is how we change the mode. Click it once, and it changes, so now it is on what appears to be a pink and changing into different colours, so click it again, and now it's gone red. Kind of looks orange on the camera, but that is red in real life and it's changing. Again, that's sort of a breathing effect. Click it again, it's gone green at that side and blue at the other. Click it again, it's gone completely red. Click it again, and it's gone completely blue. And there is 14 different effects, I'm not gonna show them all because they're kind of just the same but with different colours. Okay, I've just turned all the lights off in my room and as you can see, it's still not very bright and that is on the highest brightness because if you double click that button, it goes darker, double click again and it changes the colour, but double click and it goes brighter, but still, it's not very bright really, even with all the lights off. Saying that, it may not be the brightest of things, but I think it'll make a nice addition to my desk. It's kind of a little accent colour to go along with it. I'm not sure what I was really expecting, really, because it only has two LEDs, one at that side of the controller, then one at the other, and that's got to make its way 
all the way around, so I don't suppose there's really much else they can do with it, so this is as good as it's going to get. Now what I just said may have been a bit negative, but looking at the reviews here on Amazon, it got a 4.8 out of 5. So people are saying it's a, it's a great mouse mat, and it has colour and life to a boring desk. If you look at their pictures where it's properly dark in their room, it does look really good. So as long as you're aware that it's really not the brightest of things, and especially for the price, it's really not bad at all, and it's much better than the extended mouse mat I've already got. It costs about the same, but the one I've got is just a standard boring one that doesn't change colour. So really, this is not a bad product. So overall, I do recommend this. It's nice and thick. It's plenty big enough for my keyboard and mouse to fit on. And it is waterproof, apparently. So if you spill your drink on it, it should be just fine. So as long as you know that it isn't the brightest of things, which you shouldn't really expect considering the price, it is a great product, so thank you for watching this quick little video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.